The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? Oh, blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! <laughs> What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> Woo! Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what's up, man? Huh. Yeah. Huh? What? What? <laughs> I'm over here. I don't. I don't even know. I. I just fucking can't with you <laughs> right now. All I right. just can't. Okay, fine. <laughs> and also another excellent. We're not sta- with him. <laughs> another excellent stand-up comedian. He is the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas. Derek Alders. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, come on, Derek. You are fucking river dancing on my last nerve with those glasses. <laughs> you know. Uh, I know. Uh, but anyways, welcome into another great episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. If this is the very first time you've listened to this show, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, 90% of them are targeted towards me and I'm okay with it. But this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noise. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. Okay. We got an action-packed show here today, gentlemen. We've got a lot of announcements. We've got uh, some some news, some sports news. We've got a new segment called the Ick that we're going to try out. Uh, we suck my Ick. <laughs> no, you can. Uh, Is this got... like the fish disease? Yeah. Ick? Okay. Yeah, the it's, parasite. It's, it's, it's icky. Mm, yeah. No, it's Fair that enough. guy that played for the Bengals. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah, yeah, he was? He, yeah, he's going to be calling in <laughs> sure. uh, right. every week now. Get Great. some cold yeah. cuts. <laughs> Get some cold <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, we've got real shit, horse shit, bad advice with Jeremy, overrated, underrated, and questions and preguntas. We've got a draft and, as always, a shitty situation. But before we get off to that, we're going to go over how uh, our weeks went. We call this our week, week recap. So, Derek. What? How was your week, dude? It was there. And there and, there and gone, huh? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I went uh, went bowling yesterday for the first time in years. Did you do it drunk? No, I was sober. We oh, went in the cool. afternoon. Oh, okay. And, uh, I mean, that's still, I guess, a valid question. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, but uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, it hurts to wipe my ass. So I've been kind of just half-assing it. Like, it's like, man, nah, it's good enough. Are you the sure. half, half-ass yeah. bowler now, yeah. too? I'm the half-ass wiper. Right oh, now. gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Literally. <laughs> that just really the, makes me want to follow you up with the house balls. <laughs> yeah, just that top half. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and so uh, we did that, and uh, I uh, did a PA uh, PA announcing for a League Forty Two game. That's a pretty cool thing you did. So man. that was uh, that was fun. Um, did you give them all nasty nicknames? No, they wouldn't let me. No, they wouldn't? No, there were a couple. Of, there was one real creepy kid that just kept kind of hanging around with a whoopee cushion. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then just would just stand next to me and just stare. Really? Yeah, he wouldn't say anything. And then he'd be like, he'd look at the DJ because I was sitting next to DJ Wynn. DJ for the win is a, he's such a cool fucking dude. I talked to him. We should have him on the show one time. Okay, we can. Uh, he'd be down. Nope. But uh, no. sorry, guys. Now I'm vetoing that. I <laughs> okay. I don't give a shit what happens. I don't care if I'm gone that week. He does oh. not get on this fucking show. Oh, <laughs> just because of this stupid whoopee cushion kid. I don't want to be associated <laughs> with that kid. I don't want to be associated with this DJ who's associated with that kid. None of it. Damn. So he just stares and then he finally looks at Win and he goes, I'm a fan of yours. I was like, Ah, oh, is that right? That's cool, man. He's like, Will you play this song? I just played it. I didn't hear it. <laughs> I I played it. You need to pay attention. I, I didn't hear it. <laughs> Just, and then he'd back to staring at me, fucking wide open mouth. And then, yeah, and then. 
That's exactly what I, it was. Fucking weird, dude. That's weird. So I don't know. It was pretty fun. It was. It was pretty cool. Sounds like a great game. It was, yeah, it was, it was a real barn burner. Uh, the cool thing about that that uh, League Forty Two is uh, everybody bats. That's cool. So if there's fourteen kids on a team. They just go one through fourteen, then you're at the top of the order again, which that would have fulfilled my lifelong dream of a child as a child of being a designated hitter. Which yeah. is the perfect position for me. In the shade, the only fun part is hitting and then back in the shade. That's great for that one kid who always left his glove in his other <laughs> yeah. parents' other car. Oh yeah. My parents are divorced and so I, I left at my mom's car and with my dad this week. There was always that kid. <laughs> I had a live mic the entire time, so I had to watch what the fuck I said. I had to be uh-huh. real careful. So that was, uh, did, yeah, I didn't, you, I didn't fuck it up. Were you just doing PA or was it? Uh, I was doing, I was did doing you PA. Play, play by play too? No, no play by play. No, just okay. a PA. Otherwise, it would have been like fly, fly, fly ball to left field, and that ball is dropped. <laughs> and the throw to first. By God, he's going to score. Like that's, that's and another that in the park home run. Yeah. That is the fourth one this inning. Yeah. But if you would have been doing that back in 1984, you would have been able to see Jeremy's oh. uh, unassisted triple play. Mm. And you could have announced that, man. It would have been a. How that. high would that have voice been? <laughs> Could you have even talked yet? Uh, actually, I think I was still swimming around. <laughs> no, uh, you'd have been like two. What, what, not, yeah, I would have been I'm two. I'm five years older than I'd you. I was two. seven at the time. Yeah. So. Yeah. What an amazing play by Jeremy Joseph. I can hear it right now. Good one. Thanks. Um, so anyway, <laughs> moving on, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I think the most... I just can't with you. The most... <laughs> I just cannot. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Could this uh, this DJ can he host? <laughs> I'm sure. Absolutely, I know he can. He's he's fucking awesome, dude. Um, he probably knows how to run all that equipment too. Yeah, he's he only sure got does. he's got four of these things, not eight, and he uses them better. Yeah, um, I bet he does. I bet mm-hmm. he pushes those buttons so sensually. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got. See, I told you, yeah, he's fucking that guy's fantastic. <laughs> Never would have happened. Buff a with rim him. shot. I don't yeah. know. Never would have happened with four. Uh-huh. Of them. <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, and the, the, I think the disturbing thing for me this week was on Friday, I got an email, and in the subject line of, my, of the email was one of my passwords. Oh. That was the subject line, which I don't really use that password much anymore because I thought that whenever I was doing a, like a Windows check a year ago, mm-hmm. it said that it had been exposed or something like that. So, I was like, eh, anything I use that for, I better, I better get rid of that. So, was it Derek Kicks Ass 69? <laughs> Six, actually, it was Derek Kicks Ass sixty nine sixty nine. Oh, yeah, that was for me. Yeah, <laughs> that email was. Uh, no, so uh, he'd said that he had had a video of me. Uh, I I had visited an adult site and I had some quote unquote no fun, <laughs> and we knew we all knew what that meant. And if I don't send him four thousand one hundred and sixty three dollars in Bitcoin, very specific amount of <laughs> that money. Sure does seem that seems yeah. That sounds like he's trying to pay off his Ashley furniture card. It's like still not even one full Bitcoin, is it? I don't. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it, that very specific amount of money that he was going to, uh, he had also activated the camera on the front of my phone and he was going to send a video of me jerking off to all of my contacts to which I thought, who the fuck jerks off butt naked anymore? <laughs> Nobody. And I can sell that video way more on my oh, only fan. That's right. Yeah, I could, I could make I could make money. No shit. <laughs> I don't recall you ever keeping your jerking off to a secret. No. No. <laughs> no. You you routinely share that. I mean, not the visual of it, but you paint a picture in our mind. Well, every now yeah. and again I'll send a pic if it's Christmas or something. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I jib jab it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> got you got kicked out of Applebee's a couple years ago, didn't you? No, Long John Silvers. Me. Long John Silvers, my yeah. bad. Yeah. They give you the hat. Yeah. <laughs> they give you the hat. Applebee's is a lot more tolerant. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, you can pretty much get away with anything at Applebee's. <laughs> okay. So so yeah, I was like, oh I so I spent one day like just in case, I changed all of my passwords, and there's a fuckload. So I got to do that, and that was pretty much my week. Nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Were you even listening, Scotty? That was a very <laughs> delayed night. Yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. He's like, yeah, ham and beans. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly Delicious. Right. So you went bowling, huh? All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, what'd you score? Uh, but anyways. <clears throat> uh, hey. I, hey. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, but no, I had an excellent fucking week. I had a lot of fun. 
Uh, Great. Moving on. Jeremy, no. how was your week? No, 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 no. No, no, no. You don't get to do it that easy. Yeah, I, I bought a new golf towel. I'm really ex- I'm really excited. A golf I, towel? A golf towel. That's exactly right. Well, why do you need a towel for golf? It cleans up. You clean up your clubs after, you you know, you, you, you swing. You get a little bit of dirt and a little mud on it. You got to clean the club. If you suck, you get dirt and mud on <clears> it. No, I, uh, you got to always you gotta take, you. A, you gotta take a little bit off the top, man. That's, just, that's the way you got to do it. I don't remember so, if I mentioned this in the show or not. I just fucking can't with you. <laughs> I, seriously, I can't. You got excited about <clears throat> buying a towel. Oh, no. I, you, you, and you, I'm 40. No, no. Okay, <laughs> hang on a second. I'm in this whole deal. You with, should use like, that towel for your jerk-off videos. Oh, that'd be a good idea. Yeah. You might want to. That's way better than using Scotty's toothbrush. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's not near as absorbent as you'd think. Right? Yeah, but I, I can't come unless the bristle hits my taint. Right. Um. <laughs> But no, this golf towel is fucking awesome. It is actually like a, a like a, it's the orange color of like a Wheaties box, and it says "pieces of shit" at the very top, and then, and then it's Shooter McGavin on the front of it. So it says "pieces of shit for breakfast." Okay. So I'm I'm pumped about that fucking towel uh, because I don't know where my other one went. So I'm pumped about that. Cool. Um, but there was also a TikTok that a couple of people tagged us in that I would I just laughed my fucking dick off. Yeah, uh, it's gone. I can attest to that, folks. <laughs> <laughs> clean it's, off. It's clean the fuck off yeah it looks like it was never there um uh, but uh this gal very attractive gal named bell rose cosplay had a tiktok and this is what she said this uh, right, right. raise your hand if you have ever been so traumatized in a relationship that you can't date anybody who shares the same name as the person that traumatized you and those names are Jeremy and any form of Joseph. So my question is, what did you do? Mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> I really? set out to ruin, and I achieve. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. With that chick's name, Vela Cosplay, yeah. I think mm-hmm. Scotty's getting ready to get an email. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I think that's what's getting ready to happen. Oh, uh, well. How much Bitcoin are you prepared to buy, Scotty? <laughs> <laughs> what's in your crypto wallet currently? Um, I don't know. But, yeah, Bell Rose Cosplay, uh, we appreciate that. That was uh, fucking perfect. Uh, but last but not least, if you're watching the video on YouTube and if you don't understand why Jeremy can't fucking look at me this episode, I went and saw Top Gun, motherfuckers. I saw Top Gun Maverick in the IMAX theater. And what he said... I love the idea that you're bragging about seeing a movie a week too late. <laughs> a week after everybody else did. You uh, okay, guys- hold on a second. There's a reason. But go ahead, Jer- uh, Derek. Go ahead. I just want you to know this week also, I watched Jumanji, and oh my God. <laughs> With real Jews? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. And like a bunch of Mongees. Oh, all right. Which, are you Are you Team Jew or Team team Manji? Oh, I'm Team Jew. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Never no. would have thought. No. no. You yeah. really hate Mongees. Oh, I can't stand <laughs> Mongees. Oh my. Fucking raggedy bastards. Anyways. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah. How I, much pomade is in your fucking hair right now? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> a fucking lot. Oh, this damn. is the very first episode ever since we've done the show that I am not wearing a hat. Yeah, it looks like very you got manji jizz in your hair. Mm-hmm. Uh, prob- probably. It, it wouldn't surprise me. Um, <laughs> I but- think if anybody wants to know what a manji is, just look to our <laughs> left. <laughs> now you know I'm Team Jew. Mm-hmm. I know. I All do. the way. I figured. <laughs> uh, but no, I went, and saw, I, I went and saw Top Gun. The main reason why I waited was because I, I knew you were going to go and see it. And I wanted to hear what your review is so I could go and see it. Not going to lie, what you talked about at the very beginning, whenever they overlooked the F-20, was F-23? Uh, F-35. F-35. Uh, how they kind of coasted over it. I wanted to say oh, that. that. That wasn't the biggest bullshit thing in the very <laughs> no, beginning. No. They have a thing in there that is such bullshit. If anybody's ever seen Indiana Jones in the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, <laughs> there's a scene in there where he escapes an atomic blast by getting into a refrigerator. <laughs> then being launched about... I don't know, 50 miles <laughs> and rolls out of said refrigerator because it's lead lined uh, that protected him from the radiation. And he just goes, <sighs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. There is a scene that rivals that <laughs> at the beginning of this. I yeah. did that in mushrooms once. Oh, <laughs> that's yeah. what I heard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, damn. At least uh, I think I did. Yeah. But anyway, I thought it, I thought it was fuck. I thought it was great. It was a great movie. I think they touched on nostalgia just the right amount. I don't mm-hmm. think they overdid it. Really? Because I think they might have. <clears throat> what? You mean I did? <laughs> I touched on the nostalgia like a motherfucker. So, no, I actually ordered these glasses before going to the movie. But that I'm movie, wearing them. What do you mean nostalgia? That movie's older than you, is it not? Top Gun Maverick? No. 
Yeah, Top Gun. Yeah, Top Gun Maverick. The yeah. one that's been out for two weeks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jack Welcome to Monkey. The Jesus Mr. Christ. Mary's podcast. My yeah. name's Scotty. <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, no, uh, I, it was. Uh, the original Top Gun was... Uh, 86. 86. I was born in 87. So, right. But, so uh, it's but, really not nostalgia so much as the past. It is kind of nostalgic because that's the good times when Scotty wasn't uh-huh, alive. That is true. <laughs> Thanks. It's very nostalgic. It was, a, it was Thanks. a simpler, better time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I thought I thought it was an excellent movie. Um, I watched the original multiple times. I thought it was a decent movie. I hated the love story in the original one. I thought it was bullshit. Um, but I the, think they did a really good job. You've lost that love and feeling scene is maybe the cringiest scene Said, in the history of cinema. One hundred percent. Hate that. If there's any way they could make like a an edit and just, just cut that whole cut scene that, out, cut that is that so out. fucking stupid. It is. It's absolutely ridiculous. And and they don't do that in yeah. this one. So yay. No, but what they do in this one, they focus a lot of attention on the special mission, which to a real F eighteen pilot, mm-hmm. um, imagine. Okay, if you uh, had a uh, like an Olympic marathon runner, mm-hmm. and you told them at like the four mile mark that they're going to have to go up a 10 degree incline. Mm-hmm. That's how much of an obstacle that this would have <laughs> actually been this special mission that they had to have all this special training for. That's pretty much just kind of standard what those planes do. <laughs> there's, there's nothing out of the ordinary for anything that they do in there. That's just, yeah. they practice on that shit all the time. And, well, and so naturally, because I really enjoyed the movie, I wanted to watch like any podcast that was talking about it. I actually w- uh, watched an interview from, I think it was three Top Gun instructors. Obviously, it's not called Top Gun. It's like something weapons uh, school or something like that. Um, but they call yeah. it Top Gun. That, that's that's, that's the, a slang term for yes. it. And uh, these Top Gun instructors talked about how actually accurate the, the movie was as far as the maneuvering and the flying capabilities and stuff like that. It's actual real fucking footage. Yeah, because it's pretty mundane, humdrum, <laughs> just run-of-the-mill <laughs> shit that those pilots do in those planes. But they enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Uh, and they, they said it right. There's probably going to be a whole bunch of uh, new little kids that are going to end up wanting to be fighter pilots, which that's 100% correct. So. It, uh, yeah, and, and you know what? There's going to be a whole lot of other kids who just wind up scraping barnacles off the side of a fucking <laughs> destroyer because they thought they were going to come in and fly jets. True. And uh, turns out, no, only about 1% of 1% get to do that. That's and true. Uh, the rest of you are just fucking swabbing decks and shit. Yep. And, app- and apparently it's not Air Force. It's it's mostly Navy. There, One interview I saw was that it was like a Marine. And the Marine, what, it was Top like, Gun? Uh, that get invited to Top Gun, yeah. It's all, yeah, it's all. It's mainly Navy. Marines are actually a division of, of the, the Navy. Navy. Yeah, but apparently, <laughs> what this guy said, who was uh, um, from the Marines and got invited to Top Gun, he said it's it's yes. very very rare. I saw that interview with Jocko Willink. Yep, that's the yep. one. The main thing I was curious on is how did Polly Shore do in it? He, he oh, he's in the Army now. Yeah. Oh, he's not in Top yeah, Gun. Yeah, him anymore. and Andy Dick. Yeah, but oh, in the Army now. Man. That's right. But the aliens part of the movie. That's was also cool. very realistic. Yeah. Military type movie, one hundred percent sure. Yeah, that's almost as real as Tank Girl. I mean, pe- uh-huh. people need their water, Jeremy. Yes, they do. Yeah, yes, mm-hmm. Scotty. So I have a big. What did you think about the aliens in, in Top Gun? Do you think that was any good? Well, I loved it when when he got the one with, with his it. parachute and he said "Welcome to Earth" and punched it in the <laughs> face. That was actually a lot of people don't know that that was Chris Rock in that <laughs> costume. And Great. they were just recreating that moment there yeah, at the Oscars. That's right. I'll be damned. Okay. Uh, were yeah. they illegal aliens? Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Not, not actual yeah, that's, aliens, This whole Derek. thing is about Border Patrol pilots. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that? But they're on the Canadian border. Right. Because <laughs> that's where the real threat is. Right. But anyways. Uh, Those I love goddamn them. Manitobans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Manjis. I say no. Uh, Manjis don't come in from the north. <laughs> okay. No. No, I'm they're actually a moron. Sea, they're a sea dwelling creature. They come up the coast. <laughs> that's that's why my hair's wet. All right, Jeremy, go ahead. How was your week, dude? Oh, better than yours. No way in hell. My father in law is in town, and if there's <laughs> any place I'd rather be than here, it's hanging out with him because he doesn't wear dumb fucking sunglasses. <laughs> inside at night yeah but that one time he wore an aviator monocle you remember that yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. His, yeah. his aviators are larger jeremy <laughs> they're bigger than mine just trying his to, are prescription <laughs> yeah. but just trying to downgrade his story yeah. Yeah. I think this is <laughs> shitty. he got yeah. to sit at the front row i flew the- in a prop plane once <laughs> <laughs> I, I flew in a jet to get here <laughs> 
<laughs> right over the wing. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know and you're a new listener, Jeremy's father-in-law always tries to one-up everybody. But down. But, but he's, he's <laughs> down. <laughs> he, his story is never as interesting as the one that you try to tell. <laughs> right. I don't know. He tried telling me one about being in a movie theater, actually, when some kids were talking behind them. And apparently he turned around and told them to shut the fuck up or he would uh, shove their head up their ass. <laughs> No, you didn't. <laughs> no, no, you fucking didn't. Dude, no. I don't know if you... This isn't 1982 anymore. <laughs> you do that, one of two things is going to happen. You're either going to get arrested, or those kids are going to kick the shit out of you. <laughs> they have no respect for elders anymore. Right. Uh, you may have turned around and said, hey, can you be quiet? You did not tell them that. Uh, that was on the ride back from the airport. Nice. So. <laughs> Boy. Hey, anyways, what else did you do? I don't even remember now. <laughs> I'm lost in the glare of your fucking specs. Yeah? Well, it's because they're shiny. Right. Really? <laughs> Is that why they're glaring? They're mirror Jesus images. Jesus Christ, keep laughing, asshole. <laughs> I swear. Speaking it's of which. It's the worst fucking show in history. No, but we do. We, we've we got uh, a pretty I'm, cool... I'm not oh. done. Oh, okay, fine. Go ahead. Finish watching Jack Ryan season two. And? Good. Okay. Not as good as the first season, but no. good. Yeah. How was Polly Shore in that? <laughs> oh, dude, gives a performance of a lifetime. Yeah, yeah. I like he, to hear he was, that. He was the uh, Venezuelan president, I believe. Yeah, uh, oh, Hugo Chavez. Yeah, he, he looks like a regular Hugo. Yeah. He does. <laughs> Anytime, when I met him at, at the the Looney bin when he came that time, I was like, Hugo. <laughs> Oh, oh, just Polly. Okay, yeah. yeah. He was, That's why your jokes are so bad. <laughs> he just, He's El Weasel. Yeah, <laughs> just, hey, he wasn't what? even doing that. This was post Weasel, <laughs> Polly Shore. This yeah. was very bitter, angry, complaining to the crowd that uh, Adam Sandler stole his career. He wasn't even on that. Just the fact that so many other comedians of of his generation were getting paid, you know, eight to ten million dollars a movie, and they were only willing to pay him two. Mm. Oh, cry me a fucking river, dickhead! <laughs> <laughs> but Jeremy, he, yeah, you know, he was he was an Encino man, you know. Yeah, 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 I know that. So that's a big deal, man. He was in fucking Top Gun. Yeah, he was. In, yeah. He was in Top Gun. Uh, Maverick. 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 Yeah, Maverick. Yeah, he wasn't in the original. Yeah, that, that's how long that thing's been on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> right. Have you seen Tom Cruise as to how he looked in that movie compared to how he actually looks now? Yes. Yeah, they. They did a little makeup on him. Just a smidge. Mm -hmm. He still looks great. I'm just saying. That Scientology and does wonders it for It sure does. So, you know. Uh, but no, we What do else did I do? Oh, okay. I oh. basically found any reason to not be in the house. Mm -hmm. So uh, I got a lot done in the yard. Cool. Just to get away from that insanity inside that I got to go <laughs> home to tonight. And I'm hoping he'll be either passed out or dead by the time I get there. <laughs> got to go fill in that hole you dug all day. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, right. right. I, I gotta get this hole dug. Whether it's full or not, <laughs> there, there may or may not be somebody down there. I don't know. It's dark. All right, you done? Yes, mercifully. Okay, done. Uh, we do have an announcement to make. Uh, very excited to finally tell you guys that at least as of this moment, the Scotty show is, is canceled. <laughs> <laughs> no, Scotty's transitioning. Uh, no, no, I'm not. Right now, like I've. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's like a sexual chameleon. <laughs> Nobody can see what he's doing under the table, I guess. No. Yeah, that's right. No. Uh, I think your email just went off. Uh, but no, earlier today, uh, Jeremy and myself went and talked, uh, had a meeting with uh, the venue. Don't include me in your bullshit. You were there and you were fucking excited. So shut up. Uh, but we ended up talking to the venue of where we we're uh, going to have our live show, our Laughing on the Sidelines live. Um, what did Dave, uh, Dave Thomas say? Uh, was he, he cool with it? He was dead. Um, <laughs> at Wendy's? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. um, but no. The devil stack extravaganza. Right. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, yeah free baconators <laughs> yeah. for everybody. Yeah. The laughing on the sidelines devil stack extravaganza. Oh, man. Those, those Wendy's <laughs> employees are going to be so frosty. excited. It's BYOF. Right. Bring your own frosty. Right. <laughs> We're all working our side. <laughs> we just want fans to drop by and see us, make us look like a big deal to other coworkers. Right, but no, honestly, you guys. God Told damn you. it, we are going to have our uh, laughing on the sidelines live at Vorshay's on October the twenty second. Is that Vorshay's Lounge? Vorshay's Lounge. Okay, uh, here in Wichita, Kansas. Breakfast table. October the twenty second. Uh, the show will will start at five p.m. 
the um, uh, the doors will open, I believe, at four o'clock p.m. Uh, but no, a.m. They want you to show up really that early. That seems like a lot of lead time. <laughs> yeah, really, they're going to be exhausted by they, the time the show starts. They sure are. Uh, First person in gets a free frosty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was Saturday, Frosty. doors open at 4 p.m. on October the 22nd. Uh, show uh, starts at 5 p.m. Um, and listen, we really do appreciate a lot of people that are supporting us uh, by by giving us a lot of likes, saying that you'll be there. We do really sincerely appreciate that. Um, but we are actually going to open up a pre-sale for tickets. The links to the to the tickets will be in our uh, 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 sorry Facebook TikTok page. TikTok pie bio. It'll be in there. TikTok It'll, pie. TikTok, TikTok bio. Why oh, can't I fucking talk? I don't know, but you had me at pie. <laughs> right? 3.1415. Uh, but also on Not Facebook kind of and also on Instagram. The link will be in our bio by the time that this episode airs. If it's not, it will be the following day. However, um, we want you guys to um, click on the link if you want to go. This is how we're going to determine whether or not we are actually going to have this. We obviously want as many of you guys there as possible. It will be a first come, first serve to the tickets. Each ticket is going to have an individual seat, which is kind of nice. It's not just general admission. So if you really want to go, that is how we're going to know. We don't want anybody Get in early if you want good seats. That's exactly right. Um, Extra five bucks, you can sit on Scotty's lap. No, you can't. Um, yeah, if we wind up having to shit can this whole thing because nobody's buying tickets, like if we only sell a you know a few, um, we're keeping your money. Yeah, we are keeping your money. No, we'll let you know we're we're going to cancel that uh, two weeks out yeah. at minimum. So you know, basically, if we can sell fifty or more, yeah, we're good with it. This pl- um, this place com- comfortably seats one hundred and fifty people. Um, yeah. We really want to be able to tell anybody else coming off the street that no, you don't want to come in yeah, here you can't because, come in. because this place is packed. That's our goal. Uh, we understand a lot of people want to come from bordering states and states that don't even border where we're at. And we sincerely do appreciate that. But we do only want you to buy a ticket if you legitimately can come. We want as many people in there as possible. We're going to hang out after the show. Um, hang out with listeners and stuff like that. That's the plan. No manjis allowed. But no manjis. Mm-hmm. You can't be a manji. Um, but yeah, sorry, Scotty. Yeah, yeah, I know. I gotta, I gotta make a quick exit. Fuck, they're not wanting to go see me anyway. No, they're not. Yeah, so I can um, tell you that <clears throat> just based off of all the text messages I've gotten since you made this announcement. I know, right? Everybody's like, "Is Scotty gonna be there?" Because if so, I'm not going. Right. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, we really do want you guys to show to to go to the link in our bios. Uh, click on however yes. many seats you want to want to get the, the the tickets are going to be very inexpensive i think uh, at maximum they're going to be ten dollars and they may be even be less than that the money till i buy them all and sell them on StubHub, uh-huh. right um but, but yeah but basically, 300 bucks but the tickets are going to be uh paying for the venue it's going to be helping there's going to be waitresses there it's going to be 18 to 20, 18 or there older there might be waiters or waiters sorry that's it waiters just servers yeah. Fine. grub monkeys right remember yeah, that's, that's right grub monkeys um, but it's mainly to pay for them because a lot of uh, folks we know that are coming are probably not going to be drinking, and we want to be able to pay the the waiting staff. That's very important. So all of the money that we make from that is going to the servers. Jerry, do you have anything else to add on to that? Just buy early, buy often. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, not often. Just just don't number. buy any tickets that you're not planning to use. Like if you're just wanting to support us, uh, that's going to fuck up our head count. Right. Um, but yeah, basically. The sooner we get tickets sold, the more we can tell you for sure that this will be happening. But if we do wind up canceling it because we don't get ticket sales, we will give the people who bought tickets plenty of heads up notice to cancel whatever plans. Yeah, and your money back as well if that ends up being. Yes, there. we'll do that too. Yeah. Did you tell them the other big special announcement about the whole show? Nope. It's not happening. <laughs> the uh, no, no, that's not it. We're, we it's are not- working on getting Kel. Oh, <laughs> we're working on it, but he's so afraid of getting catfished again. <laughs> he never knows what's a real public appearance and where just some creepy dude in a Motel 6 is going to try and fuck him. <laughs> Hard. Right. Try and ruin another one. Right. So he's like, anybody named Jeremy or any form of Joseph. Right. That's going <laughs> to be Kel's new tagline. Yeah. <laughs> Put a finger in me if. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Well, moving on, we've got a lot of stuff to get to, but before we get to all of the fun stuff, we got to talk about our sponsor for every single episode. It is manscaped.com. This is a company that specializes in making products to help keep a, uh, you know, a man groomed, including your balls, your butthole, your ears, your nose, 
all of those places. Manscaped.com has products to help you. Talking That's about right. your dick. Yeah. Yeah, dick and balls. You want to come to this live show, you're going to have to show proof you use the product. Yeah. yeah. Shave that dick. Mm-hmm. You want to be looking your best because I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, while Scotty and I were there, some nice looking trim came in. That's and, definitely uh, true. <laughs> I, I could almost hear it. Vibrating off of them, how little they wanted to do with me. <laughs> you should have brought PS5 uh, controller. I should have. Oh, dude, we could have had a three way. You would have gone home. You could have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, uh, it, my yeah. wife knows when I leave the house with that, it's business time. <laughs> Yeah. That's why she bought it for me, so she doesn't have to put up with that shit anymore. That's right. why she made Scotty buy those aviators. Mm-hmm. Nobody's uh-huh. going to fuck you if, you, if he's wearing That's that. That's right. right. 100%. But you know what? If you uh, if you buy a uh, lawnmower 4.0 from Manscaped.com, you're kind of back in the game. That's the equivalent of a PS5 controller because that keeps the downstairs groomed. And let me sure tell you, does. girls don't want you to be fuzzy down there. They really don't. That's why he's got those douchey ass sunglasses too, because <laughs> that fucking LED light is so bright it's on so that. So bright, thing. but it's adjustable, so that's also very, very nice. Mm-hmm. It was the massive amounts of pubic hair is what ruined this one woman. <laughs> and swore yeah. off Jeremy's and Joseph's. <laughs> that's right. And that LED light is so bright. Buy that. Buy that four for your kids. Let them burn ants with it. There you <laughs> go. That thing is ungodly. Uh, but they do. They have excellent products at manscaped.com. They also have cologne, which is uh, refined. It's an excellent uh, cologne. It'll get you the chicks. that We didn't have it on when we were uh, passing by we those sure two We did we not. Sure didn't. But if we did, by God, they... It's Jeremy would have been rolling in puss. <laughs> yeah, he would have been. Um, but do check them out. We do really love them very much. Manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order and free shipping. Helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know that we're reading these commercials word for word. And we thank them very much. Okay. Let's go. We got some sports to get to. A lot of news happened. I, it's not on here, but I wanted to briefly talk. I, I am getting... May I be excused? No. Yes. <clears throat> no. But I did want to briefly What's talk about... What's that? You need a hand? About I got you. I really got to check on my father-in-law. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Uh, but no, the uh, College uh, World Series is underway uh, as this episode is being recorded. The Women's College World Series for softball is over. Oklahoma won uh, back-to-back years. Apparently, they're really dominant, and that's okay, but that's a women's sport. And uh, I guess a lot of people watch it, but we don't. Um, but the guys' uh, College World Series has been pretty uh, entertaining to watch. There's, like, only two or three teams in, like, the top ten that are making it to the College World Series, so that's pretty fucking cool. There was a lot of upsets. Um, the number one team in the country got knocked out already. The kid that threw throws 105 miles an hour. He's kind of like a, a reliever. Um, they ended up beating Tennessee. Well, he's either a reliever or he's yeah, not. He's, he's he, not, you're not kind of a reliever. Uh, they bring him in to be a reliever. But, okay, so he's you know, a reliever. Yeah. But, yeah, Tennessee's knocked out, so I thought that yeah, I mean, was pretty he's, cool. He's, I don't know that he's really a reliever, but he doesn't really start in the games, but they yeah. bring him in partway <laughs> through the yeah, games kind of, you know. to like finish out innings and stuff like that. But like, he's take, kind of a reliever. Kind of take the tension uh-huh. off. Yeah, that's he's, what he, he does. He comes in and gets the guys out who they couldn't get out with the starting <laughs> pitcher, yeah, but he's right. not really a full reliever. Like, Is more, that kind of like that guy that like – He's not really a designated hitter, but like he'll bat. Yeah. Right. But he doesn't really feel. But it's yeah. like that's all he's designated to do. But he's not. Right. The designated. I Exa- get it. Thank you. He's, he's basically. Thank you. He's basically the roll aids for pitchers. That's basically what he is. So they uh, should make her an award with that. <laughs> the mm. roll aids? Yeah. They yeah. Should. The roll aids? Idea. Yeah. They should. All right. Uh, so there's that. Is he too young for that? <laughs> I think he is. No, it spells relief. Yep, he's that, too young. Yeah. Okay, fine. That used to be the the <laughs> award for the best relief pitcher. The yes, Rolades I know. Relief Rolades no, reliever. it doesn't sound like you did, Scotty. I did. It doesn't sound like you know what a fucking relief pitcher is. I he's did. like, I was just seeing if you knew what it was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was just testing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know how babies are made, right? Yeah. I mean, tell me just so I know you know. Uh-huh. Storks. <laughs> is it something to do with my vagina? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, moving on, we also got hockey. Is uh, We now have the Stanley Cup finals have been set. We've got Tampa Bay and Colorado. So uh, JP is at home. He's really happy for that. I'm sure you're going to be watching some hockey. Tampa Bay, classic hockey town. Uh, well, mm-hmm. they've won. I think they've won two or three in a row. So I'm pulling for uh, the avalanche in this particular ordeal. Uh, but we wanted to talk a little bit about some baseball, some of the actual stuff that we watch. Uh, turns out that Joe Madden was fired from the uh, – Angels after a 12 game losing streak. Did you guys see that? Yep. Mm-hmm. Is he related to Joe Mama? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, he's related to John Madden. 
Oh, oh, oh okay. Ooh, this okay. has been a bad year for him. Yeah, here's a guy. Yeah, <laughs> here's a guy. Here's actually a guy that uh, decided to shave a mohawk to try to get the jinx off the twelve game losing streak. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And his, his team never got to see it. <laughs> Boy, really tough to try to apply for jobs when you got a mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> Show up in a suit and a mohawk. mohawk. Yeah. Well, I saw this too. I pity the fool who don't hire me. <laughs> Do you, you guys hiring for a CEO? <laughs> Do you think this is real? Do you think he actually did this? Yes. I mean, we saw a meme of it, and I don't know. Absolutely, he did this. Okay, All I right. guarantee it. But you're you're the one that has most experience with this guy as being a head coach. He's he, a hippie. He's like, a hippie. Yes, he okay. has pajama parties and shit. <laughs> like the whole team will go on the bus in PJs. Yes, he shaved a fucking mohawk. <laughs> His press conference when he got hired at Wrigley, he was at the Covey Bear across the street and told everybody he was buying him a shot and a beer. Nice. Well, that's cool. And he followed through. That's he good. did a press conference after he was fired in which he was going, I really didn't see this coming. Boy, you really got your finger on the pulse of the fucking organization, <laughs> don't you? Lost 12 in a row and you didn't send some heat? With questionably two of the best players in the major leagues. Yes. I mean, yeah, with Mike Trout and Shohei Otani. Shohei Otani, yeah. So, the fighting Irishman. Do mm-hmm. you think Do you think he gets picked up by another organization? Next year. Next if, year? If he wants to. I have a feeling he'll probably end up broadcasting. Really? Mm-hmm. I think that's probably the smarter move. He's, it's less of a chance for him to get fired. Everything I've ever heard, he is a very nice, likable man. Big time. He's just, he got very, very lucky with the Rays. He got Longoria and got some other like key pickups that panned out way better than they were ever expected to. He took him to a World Series, and everybody just dubbed him like this miracle man. And I don't know anybody who's done less with more to work with sure. than, than this asshole. He's just not a good baseball guy. <clears throat> yeah, that's probably true. Uh, another, another Joe got fired. Ooh, who was that, Mama? Joe Girardi's fired. Oh yeah, I did see that. Yeah, I, I did about hear that about that. Then they went on and last I saw, as soon as Joe Girardi got fired, eight game winning streak. <laughs> yeah. Go they, Phillies. Yeah, I don't know if they are still on the streak now. I'll look it up. But I know at one point they had won eight. They were like <clears throat> nine or ten games under five hundred, and then they were flirting with five hundred after they fired Joe Girardi. Well, there you go. That's uh, that's proof of uh, concept right there. Meanwhile, the Kansas City Royals are the <laughs> proud owners of the worst record in baseball, <laughs> including the dismal Cincinnati Reds <laughs> have a commanding one-game lead. <laughs> were they in the same league? Uh, yeah, they have. Uh, they even went on a three-game win streak. Still one game short of the worst <laughs> record in baseball. Well, I'll be darn. They lost one. They won nine in a row. Nine so now they are, they are at 500 now. Good for them. Yeah. Um, moving on to the next thing. Derek really wanted to talk Quit about this. Quit having everybody but, Joe. <laughs> uh, Robinson Cano played his first minor league baseball game since 2005, uh, barring rehab, I saw. Yeah. Uh, and it was for the El Paso Chihuahuas, and it just so happened to be... SpongeBob SquarePants night. Have you seen this photo? Oh, it's fucking great. There you go. (laughs) 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 Even the jersey looks square on him. It does. Yes. How fucking, I mean, you got to give it to the guy. I mean, he's not, there's no quit in him. No. Is this a rehab assignment or no? No, he got sent down. He got sent down. How old is he now? Uh, I can look. I'm it up. guessing he was in the league in 05. I bet he's 30, 35. Uh, I sincerely hope that they did not instate SpongeBob Night until, <laughs> until <laughs> Robinson could okay down. But that wasn't even considered a thing. Um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> he is 39 years old. He's the next Julio Franco. <laughs> yeah. How, how do you keep a straight face <laughs> yeah. at the plate? <laughs> It's like that scene in uh, in Semi Pro when they're talking about how Jackie just doesn't seem to be taking this seriously, and the next thing you know, they're all dressed up like seahorses and shit, <laughs> dancing around a half court. That's that looks like the scenario he's in. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Fuck it, the, the way more that I think about it, that's just my favorite my favorite picture of all time. <laughs> Even better than Randy McCammon. Be- no. Yeah, no, better than that one thing out of the Zapruder film? No. <laughs> that one frame? No, the White Sox rain delay still is probably my favorite. <laughs> that's, I, that's my favorite. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you can't beat He that. looks so determined to go up there and fucking kill one, too. <laughs> <laughs> 
I just wonder. It's like now batting number five. <laughs> Are you ready, kids? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Robinson Cano. Absorbent and yellow and porous is he. <laughs> Robinson Cano. <laughs> okay. That's a lot of fun. Uh, moving on, we got some NFL news. Uh, here's a very bold statement from Tyreek Hill, and I quote, he says that Tua is more accurate than Patrick Mahomes. He was obviously referring to the jet sweep. <laughs> he hands it slightly more accurately, puts it in his bread box a little bit better because I think two is a little shorter. Right. And he can reach that angle. Right. Uh, other than that, um, I think this is kind of Tyreek Hill's way of going, somebody please get me the fuck out of this. <laughs> no, really. Everything's great, guys. He's, he's better than Mahomes, I swear. I swear to God, this is just great. <laughs> Look at how much fun I'm having there in Miami. The warm weather and everything. <laughs> there are le- there are people that are legitimately saying that the Miami Dolphins are going to be a contender in that division and possibly make a deep playoff run. Do you buy that? Possible. I, mm, I mean, it's, it's put up or shut up for Tua this year. It is. But Gaskin's not bad. He's proven that. Yeah. He's a decent running back. The defense isn't horrible. I wouldn't even call Gaskin a great running back. Actually, I wouldn't say. I mean, he's I would. Even, I, I don't even want to say he's dependable. I, I really don't. Um, he's he's definitely at the bottom of of that particular um, pyramid. I guess when it comes to NFL running backs, in my personal opinion, I would take Cordero Patterson over him. I would. Is he an option? I wouldn't. He, he, yeah, I mean, I'm sure he is, but uh, I would. So that's just my particular well, thing. Cordero but, Patterson's been on four different teams, five different teams now. And he fucking so. looked good last year with the with the Falcons. He's First more, time. I, I know, but he he's. it looks like he was more of a utility back. He he could do more. He was a receiver, get out of, I mean, he could block. I, I liked him a lot more. He won't do shit this year. You're probably right. Um, but anyways, there's I mean, there's why that. would he have to with that dead eye to a yeah. back there taking the snaps, throwing the ball, putting it right where he wants to, guys? Exactly. It's, it's Great here. God <laughs> damn. So good. So good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't. I think I, th- I think they're third place in that division this uh, this upcoming season. So enjoy it. Uh, but last uh, but not least, I wanted to bring this up. So Deshaun Watson, since the last time uh, we were here, or since we last episode, uh, it came public that he On is, a girl's chest <laughs> yeah. and face. Yeah. There, there are now, I want to say, either two or four more um cases or allegations that have been made to towards him that it's now making it to where it's very very possible that the nfl is going to suspend that motherfucker possibly for a season and even a possibility i believe if i if i read this correctly that the uh, cleveland browns can negate this particular trade i don't think that's going to happen not the trade i don't think but the contract the contract okay that yeah, maybe is that I, there's no I way believe he's in violation of some player conduct policies pretty yeah. sure there's no take backsies yeah that's true yeah yeah i i think you're right i i, I know that there is a possibility for the browns getting kind of out of this whole ordeal and so how do you go up to baker mayfield after all this shit and going hey hey buddy Hey, buddy, sorry. Um, sorry about treating you like shit. You, you, can you be our starting quarterback With again? a big fucking bonus check. That's how you feel. <laughs> He's Are gone you, as soon as his contract's up. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. They, they, they've got to move on to something <clears throat> different if they don't think he's the way to go. But right now, he's all they got. Who? Uh, Baker Mayfield? Baker Mayfield. Because there's no way that Deshaun Watson does not get suspended for at least half the season. I agree. And, and the Browns would be so fucking foolish to, to keep him. Uh supposedly the first 22 complainants uh deshaun watson offered each one of them a hundred thousand dollar settlement okay so he's not necessarily denying that he's done this and apparently the the most recent one that said that he uh finished on her chest and face which may be the best <laughs> legal filing of all time <laughs> apparently uh he was laying there started jerking himself then stood up. <laughs> That's how it got on her chest and face. To which, move. I'm <laughs> oh, for what it's worth, I'd let him come on my tits for a hundred grand. No, sure, I mean, all over. I'm talking about the candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> Those are good. 
<laughs> really are it's crispy but caramel god damn it oh jesus uh but yeah so I, i'm my i guess my honest question is do you, would you fault baker mayfield if he told them to go fuck themselves and not come in and play leave it to i mean they have a decent backup in jacoby Brissett as well so i would fault him because it would be a bad move on his part because he really needs to audition for other teams because he did not leave a good taste in anybody's mouth nobody's like chomping at the bit to get ba- baker mayfield right now they would have done it i i on well i think he's a lot better than what they're giving him credit for he took a shitty shitty team to the playoffs beat beat the pittsburgh steelers who had dominated him for for years and it's so how easily they have forgotten that in cleveland and uh fuck them so i'm not rooting for cleveland this year or ever again oh <sighs> i am you are now just because of that just because of me uh-huh that makes perfect sense Jeremy. i would really like to see if a small caliber bullet would bounce off that hair or go all the <laughs> way through it would are those glasses bulletproof you want you want to check yes i think we should <laughs> okay. yes yes did you bring your, did you bring a piece fuck i'll go home and get it yeah. I live, okay. I don't live yeah, far i'm, I'm only true. a 45 minute drive away <laughs> yeah. just, we'll just sit right just here. hit pause <laughs> yeah, hit yeah pause. you guys finish up the show without me i'll go <laughs> i'll go talk to my father-in-law for a while come back <laughs> <laughs> he'll probably be like i could slingshot a rock through those fucking glasses <laughs> maybe as accurate as he is maybe i can get to it and take the shot for me <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right. Well, moving at on. Get, at least get Deshaun Watson to come all over. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> They're protective. Then uh, auction those glasses off. Moving <laughs> on. Now we get to move on to a new segment that I thought would be kind of fun to do. This is called The Ick. Um, this is something that I caught. Uh, apparently, there's a bunch of girls that are doing kind of this thing. When What they're doing is they're saying, hey, this guy's a nine, and then tell us something about him and see if that score from a nine changes, goes up, goes down, whatever. It's a one to ten score. And I was like, this is kind of bullshit, and it's kind of degrading to guys, and so I'm going to do that shit and do it to girls. I think that would be a little bit more fun. So this is called the ick. Uh, a couple of uh, different things. This is going to be the um, same thing. We're going to give a girl a rating. She's going to be an eight, a nine, or a ten whatever the case may be, but she does something. And uh, because she does that thing, we're going to give our new rating, whether it goes up or down. So yeah, the first one is she's a nine, but her voice sounds like nails on a chalkboard, i.e. the fucking wind. That chick. She was not a nine. (laughs) She's a nine. The but fuck she, she was. But she, you didn't see her. <laughs> I know. But she talks like that. Let's say it's a nine. She's a nine, but she talks like that. What rating do you give her now? She's nine years old and talks oh, like that? Oh, God. No. No, she's a nine. Out of, out of ten. She's hot, but she talks like that. Okay. Jeremy? What's her father-in-law like? <laughs> <laughs> He's a pretty cool guy. This is all you know. Oh, it's, fuck yeah. She stays right where she is then. She, can you, uh, you keep her with a nine? No, I... No, you have to talk eventually. They don't just go away on their own. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And so, yeah, I, no, this 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 is a deal breaker for me. That goes down to a two. <laughs> okay, all right. How about you, Derek? Yeah, I'd go one. You'd go one. Yeah, yeah. I I'd, I'd, I'd go with you. I'd be a one or a two. Sounds like Janice from Friends or some shit like that. Yeah, I'm I not. don't know. I don't watch Friends. Okay. What what is this show? This is what Friends? Friends. Yeah, Friends. Janice from Friends. You mean that thing that we are not? Oh my God, that chick. I don't think he picked up on that, but I got what you're putting down, Jeremy. Now it was a good one. <laughs> got it. All right, next one. That was the most deserved rim shot in the history of the show. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next one. I think Scotty should follow that up with a rim job. That's what this segment deserves, I'll tell you that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm. no. <clears throat> uh, next one. She's a nine, but she only has one leg. That makes her a ten. Mm-hmm. Tens across the board, man, yeah. 100%. Fucking yeah. great parking. Absolutely. Everywhere you go. And you can use the leg. I can't stick my dick in a leg. No, you can't, but you can stick the, the leg in her. Well, I guess I could side pocket a leg. <laughs> you could. Yeah, she'd be an 11 if she kept the leg <laughs> and still just has it just somewhere in a jar in the house. Just yeah. on the coffee table. Because, one, where'd you get a jar that big? <laughs> <laughs> what if she made a lamp out of it? Oh, like a lot of lamps? Like a, a Christmas story. No, a Christmas boom. story lamp, yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. With the fish nets and everything, I like, it. I like it. Yeah. Okay. So tens across the board. The if she's got glow of electric sex <laughs> radiated through the air, one hundred percent. Okay. Next one. This is a real one. Uh, she's a ten, but she wears a pound of makeup. Four. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do that. That's it's. I, 
Yeah, this. A, is, it means it's going to take her forever to get fucking ready. <laughs> that's a hundred percent true. And B, you got to wake up next to that shit. That's true. And they all they take it off before they go to bed. I bet. But, oh yeah. But, well, if she if she's that ugly, the fuck she is. That bitch is leaving <laughs> it on. She getting that shit tattooed yeah. on. Yeah, is yeah. that how she became a ten in the first fucking? Pro- yeah. Probably. Yeah. If you wear a pound of makeup, you you lose quite a bit. You go all the way down. I'll give you a four. So, Jeremy. I like my women to be kind of whorish. <laughs> so I'm going to say she stays right where she's at. That's wow. probably what I liked about her in the first place. Wow. Okay. All right. Next one. Mm-hmm. She's a nine, but when I ask her if she's hungry, she says no. Then she takes bites out of my food and eats all of my fries. She stays a nine. Yeah. I mean, you got to make some sacrifices for puss. And let's, mm-hmm. I mean, I could, I could stand to lose a few pounds. Mm-hmm. So I, I think I'd keep her right there, right there at that nine. Yeah. She sticks to, for a nine to me. And that means she probably orders a cheap meal, like a salad. That's right. She just, probably, saved, yeah. she yeah. just saved me money. What yeah. are you talking about? She just ate a little bit of my food, calls it good. So yeah, she stays uh, right where she's All my fries? At. All of them, man. McDonald's hey. fries after you've been drunk. She goes down to seven. Seven? Yeah. Okay. All right. That's fair. I like fries. Yeah. Okay, last one. Thank God. <laughs> She's an eight, but she has the fakest laugh when somebody says something that isn't really that funny. Oh, God, so she couldn't hang out here. Fuck you. Uh, I think that's kind of what you have to do <laughs> to, just to fit in. Yeah, oh, she, no. stays, she stays an eight for me there. No, not for me. No, she loses a little bit. I give her a six at this point. The fake laughs really, <laughs> fuck off. Jeremy? Is it so fake that it becomes condescending? Because <laughs> if that's the case, like if she would just look at somebody like, <laughs> then yeah, I love this woman. <laughs> Very good. I'll go, I'll go with it, sure. All right, that's the ick. It may not Gets be right in your fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> like in Scotty's face. Yeah, yeah. I love that. <laughs> I ever tell you the story of when my wife booed that chick at the bar? No. We, we were out at, out at the bar one night. And some, was she an entertainer of some sort, or would, <laughs> nope. did she just boo her? Okay. Just fucking boo her. for life. All it right. was fucking fantastic. So this chick was hitting on my buddy Jamie, and she was probably like 60. And my buddy Jamie's 40 at the time, was 39 or 38. Uh-huh. And she's like... You're a tall drink of water, aren't you? And Jamie's a nice guy, so he just kind of like, yeah, you know, and just kind of going along with a little bit and kind of brushes her off. And Is this off. the Jamie I know, by the yep, way? Yep, okay. Yep. Okay. Kind of brushes her off, and then uh, a little bit later she comes over and she starts talking again, and the, the cover band plays Journey. Mm-hmm. And she goes... Oh my God, Journey is just the best! Don't you just love Journey? I, in mid sentence, my wife just gets two inches from her face and just goes, "Boo!" <laughs> and it was the greatest fucking moment of our marriage. <laughs> That's great. Did your Not, wife want to fight this woman? <laughs> Maybe. If she would have, I'd have been. I'd, I'd, have, I'd have let her. I could see your wife just tearing somebody up. <laughs> oh, absolutely. That ain't no shit. All right, now we get to move on to real shit or horse shit. Uh, same things apply. We actually got some uh, listener uh, suggestions in this one. Uh, Boo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, first one, real shit or horse shit. When any female walks in front of me, I have an automated reaction to briefly look at her ass, regardless of the size or quality. Horse shit. 100%. There's a lot of asses I don't want to see. So that is horse shit. I remember there was a day I was bartending, and your stepdad and a couple other guys were at the bar, and there was this chick that had about 58 inches of her ass crack exposed. <laughs> she was a large woman. And I'm the only one that sees it because they're facing me as the bartender, and it, I stopped mid-sentence, and I said, fellas, I don't know much, but what I do know is it's all about that right there. And they all turned around, and I got a nice big fuck you. <laughs> well... I'm Take so- turns from popcorn in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That ass was so gross, Deshaun Watson wouldn't have came on it. That's really? how gross wow. that ass was. Wow. 
That's crazy. No, I, in all seriousness, this is real shit. It, it doesn't matter. You don't want to look at somebody like that, but it is. It's like an, an, a reaction that immediately when somebody walks by you or when a girl walks by you, it's just like straight down. Then it's like, oh, why the fuck did I do that to women like that? But then every once in a while you get surprised and you're like, Jesus Christ, look at that. Nope. So, yeah, this is real shit for me anyways. Jeremy? Here's what happens to me. I am generally just kind of lost in my own head and then i kind of start to come through and realize i'm looking at her ass and so it makes me extra creepy to think that for the last three four seconds i've just been when in in real life i'm just thinking about what i'm gonna watch on tv or whatever that night so um yeah it, it just happens that just happens to be the natural angle that my head goes to when i'm in deep thought yep but uh yeah that's where i'm at are you pleasantly surprised sometimes? Not very often. No. Yeah, same. All right. Uh, next one. This is a uh, fan suggestion. This is from at Robert. I want to say it's Lavoy. I'm going to try. Uh, Robert Lavoy Zero. He wants to know. It's Lavoie. Lavoie. Okay, we'll go with that. I have no idea. Lavoie Zero. Uh, he wants to know, real shit or horse shit, I use my turn signal when nobody is out on the road. 100% real shit. I'm probably driving mm -hmm. drunk. <laughs> I, I don't need to give him a reason to pull me over. There's eyes everywhere, friend. If nobody's on the road, I'm drunk. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's late at night. It's 2.30 in the morning. That's right. Derek and I are both driving home, don't want to get pulled over. So even though you don't think anybody's out on the road, you do not see that cop that's sitting over, hiding in the bushes, waiting for you to fuck up so he can pull you over. Especially when you start to swerve, yep. so you just turn your signal on to make it look like you You're, meant to do that. You meant to change lanes? Yeah, that's that. fucking lootly. Yes, this is real shit. You always, always, always use your turn signal. Jeremy? Goddamn right, I do. I follow the law. I follow the rules, especially when I'm driving drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I, I won't even, like, coast through a stop sign uh -uh. if there's nobody out. I just won't. I've gotten – I've been caught too many times in the past, not necessarily drunk, but just skirting the fucking law when I thought nobody was watching, and I've gotten a couple of different tickets for that. So, fuck it. <clears throat> yeah, fuck those guys. All right. Uh, next one. Real shit or horse shit, I play a mean air guitar when a badass guitar solo comes on the radio. Horse shit. I'm an adult. Next. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking real shit. Are you kidding me? Oh, that doesn't fucking surprise me oh, there, Shade. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and it's the Top Gun solo. Oh, fucking yeah. I'll just sit there and go like I'm fucking playing a hardcore. Have no idea how to play the guitar. So real shit for me. Jeremy? It's horse shit. I will, if anything, I will go into an instrument that's not being played. <laughs> like hammer dulcimer? <laughs> saxophone yeah. or something? Yeah. During a guitar solo? Yeah. yeah. Do the dulcimer. You can do the dulcimer. Maybe a tambourine? Game. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cowbell. Sit there at a stoplight. <laughs> nice. I know it is, Scotty. Uh-huh. I'm uh, one of the better air tambourinists in the world. <laughs> nice. I took lessons for eight years. Sure you did. Uh, next one, real shit or horse shit, I will stand up and clap at the end of a good movie at the movie theater. Horse shit, but I'll chuck the fuck out of Mike and Ike's that people that do do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't do this shit. I don't, don't. You probably just no, did this shit. I didn't. I did not stand up and clap. <clears throat> I'm one of those people that I stay seated. I wait for everybody else to leave so I don't have to talk to anybody. No, this is horse shit for me. Yeah, because that's what I like to do when I leave the theater. I like to just talk to strangers on the way out in the mm -hmm. hallway. Like, what was your opinion? How many it? fucking people have you ran into on the way out that just go, that was a good movie. That was a really fucking good movie, wasn't it? What did you think? Did you think it was good? Zero. Yeah. I no. intentionally avoid people. Yes. Just in general. Yeah. Yeah, this is horse shit. Mm -hmm. I, every time that this happens, I'm sitting there going, they can't fucking hear you. <laughs> <laughs> they recorded this a long fucking time ago. They're not here. <laughs> It, it pisses me off any time, like during a Star Wars movie, uh -huh. whenever they would introduce like a character, a familiar character from a previous movie. You know, Han Solo comes in for the first time in 85 fucking years and, yeah, again, he can't hear you. <laughs> and it's in real life, Harrison Ford, that's the least thing he wants to be associated with. Star Wars? Yep. yep. He hates he talking hates about it. He hates it. Yep. And last one, real shit or horse shit. 
When a woman says, give me five minutes, you should think of it like five minutes left in the end of a football game and both teams have all three timeouts. Just from my experience, that's horseshit. Really? Nah, my wife's pretty cool. She says give her five minutes. It's five minutes, if that. Yeah, she's ready to go. So, no, I, I'm lucky there. Yeah, this is this is real shit. This is real shit. I love my wife to death. Sometimes it doesn't take her very long, but if we're going out somewhere fancy and she says give me five minutes, I'm going to crack open a beer and sit, and I'm going to wait. It's going to be a 15 to 20-minute ordeal, and that's just what I'm left with. So this is real shit for me. Jeremy? Like when you go out to real fancy places like Chili's? Yeah. Applebee's. Sure. Applebee's. Wendy's, okay. in fact. Yeah. Your wife takes a while to get ready for something like that, huh? Especially for Wendy's. She loves that bacon. <clears throat> of course. Animal. That's Can't why, whip why your we're dick having out. that show there. Yeah. Can't whip your dick out in the Chili's. Nope. Nope. Applebee's you can. Yeah, sure. I mean, you, you, can. Can. you can't serve me dollar Long Island and Shh. not expect me to take my dick out. Right, right. You know? Yeah. She gets really I, excited. I never, I never have expected that of you, Derek. I want you to know that. <laughs> yeah. my, my wife gets excited for those junior bacon cheeseburgers. She loves those things. But how about you, Jim? Uh, my wife, if anything, way overestimates the amount of time. She'll tell me five minutes, only take three, and then be like, I'm waiting on you because <laughs> I don't have my fucking shoes on yet. Wow. So, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. She does that shit on purpose, and she does it to antagonize me, and mm. she deserves what she gets. Right. Ask the woman in the fucking TikTok video. <laughs> <laughs> right. Excuse me. Okay, now we get to move on to a uh, growing and popularity part of every single episode. This is Bad Advice with Jeremy. Guys, if you have any situations that you would like to send to us to where you can hear the absolute worst advice from Jeremy Joseph, send them to us on Instagram, which is at laughing on the sidelines, or now... I guess you can send them to us in a Q&A. I would suggest doing the whole Instagram thing. We monitor that a little bit better, um, and it, it's a little bit longer hand. So, you know, kind of one of those things. Uh, but this week we have uh, a uh, situation from a Brock Lively. He writes into the show, and he says, Jeremy, in a couple of weeks, my wife will be graduating with her master's degree in business administration. To celebrate, we are gathering with the family. This will be the very first time her parents have been in the same room for a long period of time since their bitter divorce over 20 years ago. Neither knows the other one will be there. What are some ways to help break the ice and relieve the tension that will be in the air at this party? Thanks, Papa Brock. Whoop, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, he's a smoke show on that goddamn soundboard, isn't he? He sure <laughs> is. <laughs> Could you imagine if he had twice as many buttons? Yeah. Jesus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I did mess up. I give you that, but here you go. I'll give it to you. Right. Yeah, you messed up by doing this podcast. <laughs> okay, it, this is very interesting to me. The fact that she's getting a master's degree, yet she can't figure out her own parent. Somehow that's up to you. Um, all right. First off, send just a, a text message to each one of the parents, but don't let the other one know. Find out what their favorite kind of porn is. <laughs> Have that plan when they get there. You can also uh, show up to this yourself naked. Uh, nobody's going to really be pissed off at each other when they're busy being, being pissed off at you for being naked. Um, put them at the same table and not just the same table in the same seat uh one of them's got to sit on the other one's lap that's just the other way the only way that, that can really work out uh you can try incorporating some games into this little gathering like uh you can do a three-legged race but like with leg shackles and uh don't unlock them until they start getting along because it sounds like we need to get these kids back together so what what you're really trying to do. Bring mom and dad back together. Um, maybe spin the bottle. <laughs> uh, and if that doesn't work out, you could always do that buddy boxing, only without the big inflatable gloves, just to have people punch the fuck out of each other. Eventually, they'll get to each other. That always lightens the tension. Uh, bring in a bunch of male strippers, but have them focus on dad. <laughs> so that way, if mom wants in on that action, she's got to come around. Um <clears throat> Nothing brings people together like mutual hate, so get like a mariachi band or some mimes. Uh, they'll just team right up on that one because nobody hates them more than everybody, <laughs> really. And uh, last but not least, uh, really diffuse the tension between the two of them by calling in a bomb threat. Uh, 
they'll be so worried about not getting blown up that they won't have time to focus on how much they hate each other. And uh, other than that, I really didn't spend one second thinking about your bullshit <laughs> problem. And uh, that's my advice. <laughs> Very good, Jeremy. Thanks, man. Thanks. Maybe have him play a little seven minutes in heaven. Sure. Yeah. Everybody puts their car keys in a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> That's another one, yeah. Have them put their car keys in a bowl. This they, they gotta stay there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, drinking games. <laughs> yeah. Three man. Uh, well, thank you very I, much. I never have I ever, never have I ever <laughs> fucked my secretary while I've been married for thirteen years. <laughs> Take a drink, John. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just wonder who was at fault there. We need some follow up with this. What happened that made them hate each other so bad? Why was that divorce so bitter? Uh, you know what? What don't. if I fucking nailed that? <laughs> oh, I bet so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what if it was her that fucked his secretary? <laughs> Cost him a good secretary. Right. <laughs> uh, well, thank you, Papa Brock. We sincerely do appreciate that, guys. Again, if you do have any situations you would like to write into the show to see if Jeremy likes them and would like to read them on the show, send them to at Laughing the Sidelines on Instagram. Now we get to move on to overrated or underrated again. Same thing. If you got suggestions, you know where to go. Uh, first, straight to hell. <laughs> straight to fucking hell. Do not pass go. That's right. Straight to hell. Do not collect $200. Uh, first one. You don't get $200 in hell, Scotty. You don't? Fuck no. Oh, man. What would you spend it on? Gas? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Fucking aviator shades. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nah, they weren't that expensive. All right. Uh, oh, I know. But yeah. First one. They are in hell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. It's the one thing. If you're wearing those here, what are people wearing in hell? <laughs> I don't know. Oakley's? Pit, vi <laughs> pit vipers. Pit, pit vipers. If you wear pit vipers, you need to go to hell. You, I you guess I don't know what those are. Those are those the macho goofy. man Randy Savage looking. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. fuck those. Scotty's okay. got like three pairs of them. No, I I've don't. got two pairs fuck of Oakleys. That shit. I don't want to do that. All right. First one. Overrated or underrated? Stretching before sex. What? Yeah, you stretch. You know, stre do some stretching before sex. Th this oh. is underrated. <laughs> <laughs> I will get a leg cramp a hundred times out of a hundred if I don't. <laughs> what? So what do you do? What's your routine? Well, drink lots of water for starters. <laughs> While she's in there in the bathroom doing whatever the fuck it is she has to do in there before we have sex. Take a shit. <laughs> but yeah, then I'll... It, she has the door open, so I hope she not. She shits with the door open? <laughs> Only before sex. <laughs> yeah. I just don't bother to look in there. <laughs> You'll be out here, out here honey. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy's like, you let that kid in with a whoopee cushion? <laughs> yeah. No, I just do some leg stretches because I'm serious. My fucking hamstrings will cramp up like a motherfucker because, quite frankly, we spend most of the time in doggy style anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we do the dog fashion. Uh, but, but yeah, it's uh, it, it gets bad sometimes. So, I, yeah, I need that. I'm going to go with this is overrated just because I haven't got to that point yet. I'm still in decent enough shape for no, I don't have you to mean fucking. to sex? Yes. You haven't gotten to that yet? No, I don't have to stretch before sex. I'm, uh. I'm in good enough shape that I, it doesn't affect me. I, I, I can't do any stretches that makes me last longer. I can't do that. So, yeah, this is overrated. How about you, Derek? Do you do any stretching? Oh, the only time I really stretch before sex is like right before I sit on her face. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. other than that, no. Yeah. You got a rim shot. For I'll that. stretch my penis to make it look longer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jesus Christ. All right. Next one. Uh, this is from a fan. <laughs> this is from at Alec Garmo. Uh, he wants to know, overrated or underrated, having the best looking lawn in the mm. neighborhood underrated <laughs> god damn it i spend too much time in my yard yeah hiding from my father-in-law to make it not look nice <laughs> okay now this is one of those things you know my wife and i have worked very hard to have a nice home and i view my lawn as an extension of my home and so i work very hard to try and keep it as nice as i possibly can and so i'm very proud of my yard yeah. Fuck you guys. No, no, I, I agree with you. This is this is way, way underrated. The I didn't mean you guys. I meant them out there. Oh, okay. Fuck those guys. This is way underrated. The thing is, is that the yard that I have currently, it's going to take a shitload of work, and I don't want to work that hard. So while I really wish that I had 
the nicest yard in the neighborhood, I'm gonna have to hire some some uh, can or some people to do this shit because I'm sure as hell not you, gonna do it. You so. probably couldn't with all the trees in your front yard. No, it sucks. It really sucks. I'm sure I can make it look a lot better, but I just don't want to do that kind of work. So, anyways. So it's not important to you. No, it's so very it's important. Right. I love it. I enjoy it when I have a very mm-hmm. beautiful looking yard, especially if it's one of the prettiest uh, on there. I just I can't. How do would it you right know? Now. Huh? How would you know? It's You've subjective. never been. <laughs> yes, I have. I had a nice yard sure at the last did. house. Uh-huh. I sure did. Boy. Yeah. Okay. Some of us have different opinions of what a nice yard is. I is guess. Awesome. Shut up, Jeremy. Okay. How about you, Derek? What do you think? I want to say overrated. Okay. I've got I got better shit to spend my money on than plants. Yeah, that's like true. Like army worms. We're talking lawns. I got a con- I got a, that's okay. <laughs> I got a, bought a colony of army well, worms. <laughs> that's probably the problem. You're putting <laughs> fucking like perennials down and then mowing them. <laughs> <laughs> you went that you went that route instead I'm not of grass. Buy, I'm not buying seed. I'm not buying a spreader. I'm not fucking watering it. I got better shit to buy. All right. Okay. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated, watching a person try to dance when they obviously have no fucking clue what they're doing. Nah, that's underrated. If you're not if you're not a very good dancer like myself, you just don't do it. <laughs> you don't even do the side to side thing. Fuck no, no, no. I don't even dance at concerts. Everybody's like, everybody fucking jump, and everybody's got their hands up and they're jumping, and then there's just me. <laughs> Okay. No. No. <laughs> you, you jump. I don't feel like you're helping out. I paid to see you. You mm-hmm. jump, motherfucker. Uh, yeah, this is way underrated. I, I am just trying to somehow get a video of Derek dancing. You won't. I won't. I didn't dance at my wedding. Didn't even dance at his wedding. He that. Well, that. I did the dollar dance because I'm a slut. <laughs> okay. Whore. Whore. Sorry. But even him and his wife's first dance. He didn't even dance then. Yeah, shit. No, you weren't even, you weren't even to invited to my wedding, Scotty. I had, I had cameras set up. I watched. Well, fuck you did. You had I cameras did. set up in the honeymoon, and that was creepy. Is that? <laughs> I got. I owe you an email. Is, is that yeah. when you got the photo of him masturbating? <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's yeah, that's what Blackmailing him for 4000 yeah, That's what I said. I owe you an email. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, how about you there, Jeremy? What? What's the question now? Yeah, watching a person try to dance when they obviously have no fucking clue what they're doing. Um, If it's like a... Like a choreograph, like a line dance yes. where there's set moves and there's what one guy out there who doesn't know how to do it uh-huh. and they try like hell. I love seeing that. <laughs> but typically just watching a person who's bad at dancing, no, that doesn't do nothing for me. Like the electric slide and they're just fucking right. it up. And they're doing uh-huh. the boot scoop and boogie. Yep. Yeah. Macarena even. You mm-hmm. know what the worst thing is, I think, um, is whenever there's some song that's playing. It could be fucking rap. It could be rock. It doesn't matter what the fuck it is. Country. And there's that one asshole that's like, I'm going to teach you to swing dance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he's got some girl he's fucking twirling around like it's a goddamn pippy song. Over yeah. On the f- yeah, like, dude, this is George Strait. Yeah. <laughs> like, that, yeah, this that, is a two that, step, that, a slow two step at best. That's me. You're that guy? I'm that guy. Yeah, that doesn't <laughs> fucking surprise me one goddamn bit. Yeah. Hey, hold my aviators. I'm going to teach her to swing dance. <laughs> I'm a great dancer from the waist up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if I can stay sitting down, I'm really good at dancing. <laughs> Fair enough. But no, there is always that one asshole at like a wedding dance who just like took lessons from the time that they were eight and now they do know how to tear it up and they're just showing off and I just want to hit that guy in the fucking head with a brick. <laughs> I got a brick bust in the his, house too. I bust his fucking sunglasses and see if I can break that brick off his fucking hard hair. Yeah. And his pomade and his <laughs> yeah. stupid fucking beard. I know, I know. I know how to dance. Leave me alone. All right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Oh, I'm sorry. This you is- know what is weird? I want to say this too. Once you learn a line dance, uh-huh. you never forget it. No. I can still do the Macarena. I can still do the electric slide. I think those are the only two I ever learned. Um, but, well, fun fact. Uh, I haven't done them in 15 years. They are also different. So, like, um, especially with country songs, like uh, Copperhead Road for here in our region in Wichita and Copperhead Road out in North Carolina, the line dance is completely fucking different. Talking about the Steve Earle song? Yeah. They're both terrible. Copperhead wrote, fuck no, fuck you. That's an awesome one. Uh, but no, I went out to uh, North Carolina, and I knew how to do the line dance here and went out to North Carolina at the Marine Corps base. And oh, shit, well, yeah, it's way place, different. It's it's actually the dances are depicted by uh, the type of barbecue sauce they use. They use a mustard-based oh. barbecue sauce out there. Oh, that's and so what they it is. line dance differently I than those you. of us who use a molasses base. I got Okay, that yeah, makes a lot yeah. of sense. Okay. Also, Crips and Bloods line dance totally different. They sure do. Sure and that's yeah. how you can tell them apart. That's 
that's how you can tell a real hardcore OG <laughs> crip versus a, some fucking poser. Yep. All right. So, yeah, uh, you play Cotton Eye Joe and you watch mm-hmm. how each one line dances. Fuck. You'll tell the you'll easily shot sure. the dead, crip. Dead giveaway. Yeah, if they try and spin the girl while they're going backwards, yeah, that's a fucking, that's a blood. <laughs> that's, a, that's a total blood move. Yeah. Right. Uh, this next one is from a fan. This is from at Ryan underscore Watts, 692005. He wants to know, overrated or underrated, a shower beer. <sighs> Overrated. Don't you fucking lie. Yeah, I've done it once, and that was enough. What? Yeah. You get water in your beer. No, That's, you don't. Yes, you, you do. No. Unless you, it's Bud Light, then it's already water. Well, exactly. maybe on, in your fucking cheap-ass Rudy Poo shower. No. But I got this big fuck shower <laughs> that I built with all kinds of heads coming out, including out of the fucking wall. Yeah, okay. I'm, I got water coming at me. It's a regular fucking Hurricane Katrina in there. Yeah, but you got a bench in there to fuck on. Or to lay your beer down and not get wet. No, water's going to the bench. I have all the water directed to the bench. That's where I sit, whether I'm fucking or not. I have a sit-down shower. Okay. All Sometimes right. I'll sit on the floor. I don't care just when I'm crying or whatever. I'm sorry. Right. I just... After I found out, I kissed a man. <laughs> What kind of music do you have playing your in the gun background? Was digging into my hip. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck song was that? Uh, I don't know. It's oh, like, the crying game. That's what it was. Is that what no it? one, no more. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, this is way underrated. Are you fucking kidding me? I think it's awesome, especially on the weekend when you don't take a shower till like 1130. Oh, there is nothing better than going and mowing the yard at like 95 degrees. And then you get done mowing. The yard Getting looks great. father-in-law. Your yard looks great. Then you come in. Crack open a fucking Corona, put a lime in it, go up, take a shower, and keep that beer in the shower. There's nothing better you than even that. Even put a garnish with it. Wow. Yes, I I'm fancy with my Coronas, sir. You see, lime. Jeremy, ten bucks right now says he showers with those sunglasses on. <laughs> I'm not taking that bet. <laughs> you know he's going to. I don't. <laughs> he doesn't know this or not, but yet, yeah, but I put super glue on those glasses. <laughs> They're not coming off for anything. I including joke. soap and water. I got I got like sunglass lens washers, like the wipers. That's what I have on these things. They're fucking fancy. So yeah. <laughs> got it. Okay. Uh next one. <laughs> All right, next one. Overrated or underrated? Asking your partner for a rating of one to ten after sex. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> fucking overrated. That's like asking my shop teacher for a grade after I built a two-legged chair. <laughs> no. I know the grades. <laughs> no, just, just, it's not even that. Just asking. Just Would you actually ask somebody, like, hey, 1 to 10, how was that? Are you fucking kidding me? Hell no. Overrated as hell. We use a one to seven scale, and I never have to ask for it. She just has the cards that she holds <laughs> she, up. She holds up. Mm-hmm. And there is the, the point oh or the point five every time. Uh, uh, but yeah, seven's the highest you can get in my house. <laughs> I can't believe people have done that. That is absolutely ridiculous. Nobody uh, has. Oh, yes. No, they have. That's how I found it. Apparently, this chick is like the top 20 things that she's heard being told to her after having sex. And that was one of them. And I could not believe it. Like, how fucking pathetic are you, you piece of shit? I give. I like to tell her how good I was. Yeah, I, I was a 10. You were a 4. All right. Yeah, you were good, honey, but God, I was great. <laughs> All right, moving on. Now we get to move on to Jeremy's far- famous <laughs> Jeremy's fart. I did it again. Jeremy's famous <laughs> favorite part of every single episode. Can we just be done? <laughs> yeah, we can. Right. We're getting there. Uh, but anyways, his favorite part of every single episode. This is questions and preguntas. Got a couple uh, fan questions in here again. If you have any suggestions, at laughing on the sidelines on Instagram. First one. My least favorite kind of people in this world are people who blank. Mm, I'm going to go with people who watch YouTube or TikTok videos at full volume in public. Oh, yeah. That's that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. I cannot fucking stand that. Yeah. Fuck those people. I totally understand it if you're like showing it to somebody. 
But in like public, when you're even, watching you it don't by even yourself, need, you don't even need it full volume. No. Yeah, but when you're watching it by yeah, and yeah. watching, I've been in meetings at the place you work at. Where there's like five sales guys. And all of them are watching different. It's just a fucking jumble of shit. That's all I hear. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, I did a real one for this. This is 100% true. My least favorite kind of person or people in this world are people that do not put up their fucking shopping cart. It's it's true. Many episodes ago, it's still true now. Those no, people, nothing changed. Nothing changed. Fuck those people. Jeremy? Uh, activists. Uh, I one I don't care for the name uh, active fuck you you're just bragging uh, I'm more of an inactivist myself um, I like to just sit and be still but also you know if you have something like an issue that you really want to get through to people clearly the best way to do that for me is to go out and clog up traffic for a couple of hours <laughs> right. that's really going to help your case with me I'm going to be really on your side and willing to, to listen to whatever the fuck it is you have to say <laughs> Usually it's something money related to help the poor. Maybe if you didn't take so many unpaid fucking days off work to go march, maybe you wouldn't be quite so broke. <laughs> All right. I haven't given a lot of thought to this. <laughs> All right. Thank God you changed your fucking Facebook profile picture to have a goddamn Ukraine flag over it. <laughs> that, You're really saving the world, you brave <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Hopes and prayers. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right. Next question. What is the dumbest way to die? Uh, well, imagine this. <clears throat> <laughs> you I'm going to take my glasses off for this. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close my eyes and let you paint a picture. There's no, there's no picture painting. Just, uh, hey. You want to see who can hold their breath the longest? <laughs> <gasps> and that was the last time we saw Robert. <laughs> Especially if he lost. How bad would that be? Right? <laughs> the other guy's still holding his fucking breath. <laughs> but you're a smoker. Uh, I've got a real one. I I've got a legitimate real one. And apparently there are more of these than there are deaths by shark attack in the United States. And that is... Pulling a vending machine onto mm -hmm. yourself and getting crushed. Especially in the continental United States. Not a lot of shark attacks yeah. on land. Oh, I know. But for me, being absolutely terrified of sharks, no matter what, even being just in the ocean, I'm so terrified. It does not matter. There are more fat fucks that can't get their goddamn candy bar out of a vending machine to the point to where they start shaking it and they just pull it on top of them and it crushes them. How about that? Yeah, it's, it's kind of karma. Fuck you. We had a guy at work who apparently got something lodged in the vending machine and, like, hit it and shattered the fucking glass. Oh, God. And he took his candy bar, <laughs> but he didn't tell anybody about it. And when, you know, unlike the, the shitter, <laughs> they did get him on camera. <laughs> and when confronted about it, he denied it. And so they fired him. He filed a grievance with the union. They hired him back and made him a fucking manager. Oh, so, uh, yeah, that's the kind of shit that I get to deal with. Nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How about you? Um, I'm going to say working under your car and you don't chalk the back wheels <laughs> oh. and having it roll down on you. Oh, that would hurt. Ugh. That's a bad way to die. Yeah, it's a bad way to die, and it's a stupid way to die. You could have just wedged anything back there yes. and kept that from happening. Yeah. Something similar almost happened to me once. Mm. My old uh, my old car has had a safety feature on it on the brake stand. There's a brake switch, uh -huh. and the brake lights kept shorting mm. out. So if you didn't have the brake lights come on, it would not go into reverse. It would stay in park. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, so, all, that's all vehicles nowadays. Uh, well, this was in 1995. Okay. So Ahead of its time. Yeah. Yeah, way ahead of its time. So I went to, uh, I, if you wiggled that switch, I've replaced it three times. It still would do it. So, if, But if you wiggled it, then it would go into gear. Mm -hmm. And so one night I was leaving a buddy's house. I got down there. I was wiggling the switch, and I had the thing on, and, and so I didn't roll it back far enough. I had it in reverse and almost ran my fucking head over. Oh, wow. Oh, so wow. That almost happened to me. Way to go, buddy. Yeah. You almost died by that. Uh-huh. All right. Very. It did deter me from drunk driving, though, because I couldn't get it figured out when I'd been drinking. So yeah. I was the safest bastard. 
I've ever been. Oh, that's good. Good for you. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. So uh, next question. Believe it or not, this is uh, this is from my wife. This is a question from my wife. Okay. Uh, she wants to know, what is your favorite sound during sex? Derek? Come back to me on that one. <laughs> okay. Jeremy? Do you want me to rub the cramp out of your leg? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Uh, I actually have a, a real one. This is, uh, this is my favorite uh, sound during sex because my wife loves to play it. And it is... Uh, Baby, don't hurt me. Yeah. Don't hurt she loves this song. Gets her all hot and bothered. So I'm going to go with that. Great. You want to listen to the whole thing? Nope. I don't know. How long is it going to take Derek to think of something? <laughs> <laughs> May have to. Uh, how are you, Derek? Oh, uh, gosh. Uh, I guess maybe when whatever it's all done and she's like, okay, honey, we're finished. You can come in now. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. Um, yeah. All right. She loves that. So I'm surprised she's not coming down here for the, after that. All uh, right. Surprised ne- she's not coming down to kick you the fuck out of the house. <laughs> maybe. That's Every possible. time. I'm surprised by that. I know. Uh, next one. This is actually from another fan uh, fan question. This is from at Jacob dot Delgado. I think he's Italian. Uh, th- th- Sounds like a monge to me. <laughs> Mon- a monge? What do you think? Okay. Uh, but anyways, uh, Jacob wants to know dirty bowling team names. Um, the Dutch gutters. <laughs> the Dutch gutters. <laughs> oh fuck! I did the seven ten spread. Jeremy? The three hole qualifier. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I dig the shit out of that one. Oh, all right. Last question. What would be your call sign if you were in Top Gun? You go first there, Shades. <laughs> Should it be Shades? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got I got two real ones. Dumbass. <laughs> that was one. Uh, I got go for fuck boy. <laughs> fuck boy. I know. Uh, no, I got uh, Jack Shoe Shine. <laughs> Shoe Shine. <laughs> How about this? What would be my call sign? You guys play with it. What? Okay, this is a little known <laughs> fact about call signs. Actually, uh, that most people don't know. You don't get to pick your own call sign. Okay. You are assigned it by your first squadron, okay. <clears throat> and. It's never anything you like. It's okay. something that somebody finds out about you that bothers you. Okay. That you're usually, it's usually something kind of embarrassed, and they come up with a nickname about it. Okay. And they give it to you. Okay. Well, then here, let's do this. What would, uh, Jeremy, for me, <laughs> what? what would my call sign be if I were in Top Gun? Sugar tits. <laughs> <laughs> really? I like my sugar tits. You like my sugar fuck tits. Boy. Fuck boy. Uh, I just said, yeah. Yeah, fuck, fuck boy. I'll go with pomade. fuck boy. Pomade. 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 <laughs> one time I don't fucking wear a hat, and I'm going to get pomade. Okay, I say that sure. one's pretty accurate. Pompadour. <laughs> okay. Go for splooge. <laughs> All right. Uh, or just go for splooge. <laughs> okay. Go, go, for, go for splooge? Okay. Yeah. Go for jizz. What do you G-S. got? Go <laughs> for splooge. Jizz target. <laughs> Okay, how about you, Derek? What would yours be? Bitch tits. Bitch tits? Okay. 100%. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Jeremy? Cockblade. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Cockblade. <laughs> That's sa- why I'm changing you on my phone right now. <laughs> oh, shit. He's sounding. He's sounding with razor blades. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like it fucking- doesn't even hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awful. Okay. <laughs> I get fisted from the front. <laughs> Good God. They call God. me CB. Oh, are you a truck driver? <laughs> nope. Nope. Cock blade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a podcast host. <laughs> oh, I'm not God. even a host, a co-host. <laughs> <laughs> I consider you a host. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is now uh, the time where we get to get to a very fun and favorite part of every single episode. Here is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. (laughs) 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, last week, I got my ass kicked, as usual. It's okay. I know you guys don't like me. I know I'm not the favorite one. It's cool. I get it. Derek won. So he gets the championship picks this week. Uh, Jeremy came in second, so he gets the sandwich picks. I, however, get was, the first pick. It was pick. close. <laughs> it was real close. It was real close. All of the old people hang out on Facebook. That's why Derek wins. Uh, but anyways. Yeah, you old fuck. He's got older <laughs> friends than you do. You don't like people and don't have as many friends. You're goddamn right I don't. <laughs> See, that's how this works. Uh, but anyways, okay, so this week the draft is going to be our favorite appetizers. Okay? I am fat. Yep. I should fucking get this. Can yeah. we be like normal people and call them appies? Appies? <laughs> <laughs> the appies? You know, people I want to fucking choke to death. Yeah, sure you can. <laughs> um. Sure. Okay, okay. so uh, anyways, this week I get the championship pick, or I'm sorry, I get the first pick of the draft, and I think this one's pretty fucking much the 101, and I'm going to go with the mozzarella sticks. Yep, that's the best. That's the best. You can't beat that, man. So, uh, yeah, that's mine. Uh, Jeremy, you get second pick, dude. What do you got? Hot wings. Okay. I right. figured that was going. Yeah. Yeah. That's can, that can almost be a meal, too. And as Derek always insists, dipped in ranch. Yes, of course. You've got to. Yeah. The more ranch, the better, in fact. In fact, I just say, give me some ranch and put some hot wings in it. <laughs> there you go. Derek, you get two back-to-back, champ. Chips and queso. Yep. Got to have that. And, gosh, I want to go with oh, I just thought some cheese more. garlic bread. Okay. Cheese garlic bread. Where do you get that? You can get that fucking any Italian is that, place. Is that considered an appetizer? Because that usually comes free with the meal. Not at that. Not at a, not at fucking Napoli. It don't. <laughs> it's fucking eight dollars. Yeah, I was gonna say. I know what he's talking about. And yeah. uh, and and no, it's close. It's close to what I want. But no, uh, Jeremy, you get the next one. Uh, I'm gonna go with crab cakes. Oh, okay. that's that is a good one. I like them. That's that's one of the few one. seafood things I just love the fuck out of. Okay, all right. I got to be very strategic here. I'm gonna go a uh, shrimp cocktail. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Let's make sure. And then I'm going to go with. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm gonna go with. Uh, That's your nickname in high school. What? The shrimp cock. <laughs> shrimp cock. <laughs> you, That's your fucking That's your call, call sign, sign right there. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you looking at my answers here? Uh, brother, I, I, what you wrote down. <laughs> it, it and you wrote I'm, shrimp cock. Just, How am I not going to look at the words <laughs> shrimp cock? Because I'm just doing shorthand. You know you get 400 points just for getting your name right. So <laughs> good job. Really, guys, it's jumbo shrimp cock. <laughs> I, it's just, I'm just doing shorthand. It's shrimp cocktail, okay? I might Come have put on. tail at the end of that. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fucking fine. All right. So, Shrimp Cox next pick. Um, I'm going to go with uh, Bloomin' Onion. Bloomin' Onion, okay. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Oh, fuck. That hurt. <laughs> Could I put Bloomin' on, or are you going to get at me for that shit, too? <laughs> uh, Jeremy, next pick, dude. Pot stickers. Ooh, that's a good one. What is that? The dumplings, like Asian dumpling oh, things? Oh, oh, okay, okay. All right, that's fair. Pot stickers, you <laughs> cocksucker! <laughs> okay, I'm fine! Uh, Derek, you get two. Uh, I'm going to go uh, potato skins. Okay. When they give you the four. Don't write four skins, though, Scotty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> potato four skins. Are you talking loaded? Of course. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. You just, just like dry, yeah, no, yeah, just dry, dry skin. Potato skin. Can you do me a favor? Can you? All right. Peel not a potato. Even, not even Now cook, just, just put that peel. shit on my plate. <laughs> <laughs> you got a guy in the Navy from 1964 <laughs> who may have mouthed off to his drill sergeant back there because he can do them just right. <laughs> I know you guys are known for your fresh mashed potatoes, so just give me the peels. Yeah. <laughs> How about uh, your next pick there, Derek? Uh, fried mushrooms. God damn it, you motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, okay. I'm fried mush, you piece of shit. 
Jeremy, next pick. Okay, kind of took mine. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Fried mushrooms. Fried mushrooms. <laughs> fucking bomb. Son of a bitch. Now I don't have one. <laughs> Piece of shit. Uh, okay. You just took strictly shrimp cocktail, right? Yes. Okay. Firecracker shrimp. Okay. That's a good one. Uh, I am going to say I think this is a fair rule. We've taken wings, so I don't think boneless wings should be allowed. No, it's no, because those okay. are nuggets. Well, those are chicken yeah. nuggets, you piece of shit. Well, and you order chicken strips <clears throat> everywhere you go, Scotty. This is yeah, true. shrimp cock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your host, shrimp cock. <laughs> So Scotty's getting a new T-shirt made. Yeah, I know. Custom T-shirt, shrimp cock on the back. Uh, but no, you did take fried mushrooms. But what you did not take, mm-hmm. stuffed mushrooms. Uh, Does that count? No. No, it's stuffed. Uh, that is different. Like, it is. It's stuffed, stuffed portobello mushrooms. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they don't use portobellos to fry. That's correct. Mm. Uh-huh. Because that is... I've had fried stuffed mushrooms. We've had those. Where? The fucking place in Kansas City that you know. No, those are portobellas. Those are fried. I don't think they're fried. They're fried. Whatever. But they're delicious. Um, And then I will go, motherfucker, my last one. Son of a bitch. What did I have? I had it, and now I lost it. Well, it sure as fuck wasn't herpes then. No, no. That sticks. You can't lose that. You can't lose that. That's that's, that's stuck with you forever. Mm -hmm. All over that shrimp cock. Right. Motherfucker. Come back to me. (laughs) <laughs> I really don't fucking know. I had it. You trade your pick. Trying yeah, to find a way to fucking. I'm in the trade, fifth round. <laughs> I'm trading my goddamn. I know pick. I picked cheese sticks, but I didn't I pick get? cheese balls. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. God damn it! What was the? Oh, there it is. I got it back. I got it back. All right, fried pickles. Took me a minute, and you got to have ranch with those. I'm not a big fan of those. That's fine. That's why. That's why I put, picked them. Is because you know it's, it is what it is. Uh, Jeremy, you get your last pick, dude. Now, you, you, by saying that, Derek just kind of fucking confused me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Think Hooters. I still got to do it. I'm going to go Charlie fries. Okay. Charlie or Curly? Charlie. Chili cheese fries. Okay. Got it. And, Derek, your last pick. Well, I don't know if it's going to count or not. Okay. But I'm going to say Rattlesnake Bites from are, Texas Roadhouse. What are I they? don't know what those are. They're fucking, they've got jalapenos and like a jack. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Oh, fuck, yeah. Jalapeno oh, poppers. How, how, how do I not take fucking jalapeno poppers? It, it, uh, but it, is that what they are, jalapeno poppers? No, they're not they're, poppers, though. They're, they're in bowls, and there's... Then they're cheese? With jalapenos and other shit in them. It's jalapeno cheese balls is okay, what those are. those yeah. are the shit. They are, um, and I can't... Those are those are like my... Actually, my fucking favorite. I, I, favorite. I am so those. pissed off that I didn't take fucking... <laughs> I get, those at, I get those at Roadhouse every fucking time. I go to any place that go that that, that has them. They uh, they Tanners whenever it was around had them, and then uh, luckily still um, uh, Side Pocket still has jalapeno cheese balls, and those are the shit. I will eat just that whenever I go there. See, because yeah. when you brought up cheese balls, I was saying like the cheese curds, the fried cheese, no. the cheddar cheese curds. No, I know, but that's what I was thinking of taking. Gotcha. Because that's, that's more that, of a side cheese curds are. Uh, you know, yeah, who cares? Nobody's bitching. Well, you, you, know, honorable, you can get them as appetizers. Honorable mentions. Uh, you don't know what you can do. I, I didn't want to take. I didn't want to take it because I think it kind of steps on your garlic cheese bread. But any Italian restaurant, they bring you out olive, olive oil, oil and mm-hmm. and bread. I think that's awesome. Fried mac and cheese bites. Uh, at uh, is that, period. Uh, I don't. Lots know. of places have them. Okay, I don't think I've had them, but I, I know. I think Twin Peaks has them, if I remember correctly. Uh, any any that come all off? the better restaurants. You know what? I'm surprised. Nachos. Jimmy. Nobody took nachos, but that's uh, kind of like a chips, meal, and that's a chips and queso calamari. Kind of thing too. Oh, calamari! Fuck, fuck that's a God, good one. God, that's a great one. That's a good one. Oh, I figured wow. I was going a little heavy on the the uh, seafood. With How the about shrimp. no hush puppies from Jeremy? That's a side dish. Come oh, on. Oh, okay, Scotty. okay. I'm just making sure. I'm just yeah, making I don't sure. Yeah, how the fuck I miss calamari. I don't either because that we get that every place we go to. We always have to try. That's how you know if it's a decent restaurant if they got good calamari. In As uh, Harlan Williams said, you ever wonder if a calamari is just deep fried asshole? <laughs> <laughs> it could be. It's a ring. So, boy, yeah. these are delicious assholes. <laughs> All right, so guys, All ladies and gentlemen. All I said was, hey, <laughs> I smell <laughs> ass. You guys can go to Facebook.com tomorrow and uh, vote for your, I'm sorry, <clears throat> on Wednesday. Uh, you can go and vote for your favorite list of our favorite appetizers, and you can also drop a comment, drop in the comments what your favorite is, 
And uh, yeah, uh, click on the corresponding emoji. That's how you vote. Uh, laughing on the sidelines at Facebook.com. But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. You know, from the uh, late 1920s till the uh, mid-1940s, the Winecroft Hotel, the tallest hotel at the time in the city of Atlanta, Georgia, was advertised itself as being absolutely fireproof. That's a, that's a direct quote, by the way. Um, that's why it was kind of built with no fire escapes or sprinkler system. Uh, well, in 1946, guess what happened? <laughs> December 7th, nonetheless, a day that will live in infamy. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, fire broke out. Turns out that the uh, steel in there, yeah, that's very fireproof, but the rest of the interior is not. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, a uh, fire of unknown origin broke out, which left all the people above where the fire started, by the way, third floor of a 15-story hotel, uh, everybody above there only had one way out, which is one single fucking stairway down the interior of the fucking hotel. Um, a lot of them didn't make it. Uh, 119 of them, in fact, died as a result of this fire that probably could have been uh, completely prevented with, you know, a hose or, you know, a fire escape. But uh, you'll be happy to know that of the 119 who perished, most of them either burned to death or died of smoke inhalation, but a few of them did leap out the windows to their death. And uh, now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, no smoking in the fucking hotel room. (laughs) (laughs) Very good, Jeremy. Very good. All right. This week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather have your spouse post a 1 to 10 rating of your sexual (laughs) performance on social media every time you have sex, or have someone send a video of you jacking off to every single one of your contacts? Mm. There. Well... It'd be all right if she kept a tally. So, yeah. like, night one was a one, and but then the night two was a one also, but she was just like, two, three, because eventually I'd sound like I would just fucking slay an ass. <laughs> You're just getting better with practice. Yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, I'm going with the video. You're going uh, with video jacking I, off? Absolutely. Like, what are you going to get, this? <laughs> <laughs> That's it? Oh, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'll go with that all day. Yeah. Yeah, and most people are going to be like, I don't want to fucking see that, and that's it. Um, I'm, I'm going to go with the rating. I'm going to go with the rating because, if anything, it's going gonna, it's gonna to tell me and everybody else that I'm showing signs of improvement or if I'm not doing so good that I need to work up my game. And uh, the other thing is, is that it's a nice, fuzzy, warm feeling whenever you, uh, you know, you get like those fives or sixes. I think those are pretty, you know, above average for most people. I don't think you're getting so fives or sixes, Scott. Shut the fuck up, Derek. Yes, I am. This is totally fucking subjective in this particular situation. Who cares what your opinion is? It's my opinion. No, actually, it's her opinion, well, Scotty. Well, I know, but she I'm... She texts us I, afterwards. I, I, she texts no, us raise it, ratings. Yeah, she brag. Does she brag? I, I didn't know that fractions went that high. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Okay. One one hundredth. <laughs> okay. I guess they, that's not very honest, No, but, but mm. I, I am confident in myself. I think I would probably do fairly well. And then at that point, my wife is bragging for me. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to take the rating, and it's not even close. And yeah, she's like, Scotty can take a pig, and I'll tell you what, <laughs> that. That was an eight. Sure can. Uh, no, geez. the pig. That was an eight-incher, uh, and all the way up there. <laughs> take that, shoe shine. <laughs> <laughs> a shrimp cock. Shrimp yeah. bend over. <laughs> yep. All right. <clears throat> How about you, Jeremy? Uh, I'm definitely going with on. the video. And I'll tell you why. This this is a no fucking doubter in my mind because I'm pretty sure she's going to give me some pretty low scores uh, based off of like during the middle last time she just grabbed her phone and put in an order for Blimpy Subs. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> she, she doesn't really seem to be all that impressed by what I do. And so she's going to put that out there and people are going to think I'm bad at sex. But if they see a video of me jerking off, 
I know I'm good at that. <laughs> I'm not just good. I'm great. I'm better than than most. In fact, I'm probably better than than half the people you know. <laughs> and that's something I'm very proud of and something I'm not ashamed of at all. And I feel like that that's kind of really my gift to the world. <laughs> and they should see it. And in fact, if somebody doesn't blackmail me with a video of that, I'm going to put it out myself. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Jeremy just doing something, just extravagant, you know? Only like, hands. Fire, oh, like only, candles? Yeah, like can fireworks even, just right out there, 4th of sure, July I'll video. Sure, I'll get some Roman just, candles ah, in there. Ah. He's fucking shooting for distance. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, Jesus I mean, Christ. oh, trust me, dude, I'm not just glazing knuckles with this. I'm hitting the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Oh man! Well, we uh, we thank you guys very very much. Uh, again, uh, at the end of this episode, go and check our links in our bios everywhere: facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines, um, Instagram at laughing on the sidelines, and TikTok laughing on the sidelines. Uh, if you would like to come to a live uh, episode where we will have uh, obviously Jeremy, myself, and Derek, and then also a couple of guests, uh, have a good time. Try to involve as many people as we can that are there. Um, go check that out. Um, tickets will be on sale to where uh, we can pre-sale these and see how many of you guys would actually show up. Again, it's very important, and uh, we the, really want to do this. The plan is most definitely, as of right now, we're having the show. Yeah, exactly. Hey, consider it on. Don't don't wait to see if other people are buying enough tickets. Buy your tickets. If it doesn't work out, we'll give you your money back. We yep. promise. Yep, exactly. Um, but any, we're not gonna. Shit. But <laughs> what is this wee yeah. shit? Uh, but yeah, um, anything else you guys got uh, that you want to go over real quick before we head out? Got shows next month. Oh, you do? Yep. Holy shit. Yep, I'll be at the Looney Bin uh, July something. July something? <laughs> Fucking yeah. fantastic. I think it's like the 21st through the 24th. Let okay. me look at the calendar here. All right, take your time doing and that. There it the is, the 21st through the 23rd. Oh, yeah. okay. All right, cool, cool. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right. Jeremy, you got any dates? No. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> Uh, but shit, guys. Only because I don't want to have them. I know you don't. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so very much for doing what you do. Thank you for helping this show grow. We really do appreciate it um, from the bottom of our hearts. Uh, keep doing what you're doing, sharing the TikToks, commenting. That helps us grow, uh, and we really do appreciate it. And as always, guys, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us... Uh, we hope you go, have to get stuck going to a birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese and right before you go to eat that fucking nasty slice of pepperoni peachy, you get pinged in the head by a rogue <laughs> ski ball. <laughs> if you don't like us... Tell your enemies. And until next time, guys... Where a kid can be a kid. <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care. Bye.